through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 174. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're giving you our DVD rundown for the week of Tuesday, July 31st, 2012. July's already over. Over. Mwah, mwah. Summer's moving on its way on out. Sad. Yep. But, you know, a, a sort of middle of the road yeah. DVD kind of. Kind of a uh, midsummer-esque DVD yeah, week. Not, not great, not mm -hmm. terrible, but yeah. you know, there's a few things that might mm -hmm. spark your imagination, if Ooh, you will. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Classy. The first one we're going to talk about is the mini series Hatfield and McCoys, yeah. which is coming to Blu ray and DVD. Mm -hmm. Sadly, not one in the same. Oh. But, you know, I mean, I guess it's yeah. a mini series, so it's from the same. History Channel. Yes, but this is the one that stars Kevin Costner, Bill Paxton, mm -hmm. Tom Berenger, Powers Booth, and it's based upon the true story of mm -hmm. those feud and families. Yep, the longest running feud in American history that Which, I think just ended in the 70s and started in the Civil War. Wow. If anyone's a fan of Justified out there, you can appreciate mm -hmm. those sort of like Kentucky mm -hmm. family yeah, rivalries. It's like Kentucky, stuff. Tennessee border, yeah. I think, or Kentucky, West Virginia, maybe. Yeah. But I mean, it's really you know, good. if there's anything that Kevin Costner does well, it's usually Western. Yeah, so that's this really is, his bread and butter. it's a very, it's a very solid mini series. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen it. I, I have. I enjoyed it. I yeah. enjoyed it quite a bit. I did I mean, too. For how, for how long it is. I mean, I found myself just pulled into it and continuing to watch it. I wasn't like, Oh God, four more hours yeah. left. No, I, I thought, it was, I thought it was good to do it. Serve in that mini, mini series mm -hmm. format. And it goes over a lot of years too. Yeah. So. I mean, it's interesting to sort of see, you know, History Channel doing mm -hmm. sort of um, fictitious, not fictional, uh, narrative. Yeah. Narrative yeah. Um, television. And I movies. believe this the idea of this as a miniseries or a movie has been passed around a lot. And it was in like H, the like premium channel and big networks I court. I see that. Yeah. And kind of went, has gone nowhere. I think they've been trying to do it since like almost the 70s when wow. the feud ended. And it's just kind of gone nowhere. And finally, randomly in the last couple of years, History Channel just snagged it on up. I think it's a perfect sort of thing for them. Sadly, you know, unless you're a hardcore <laughs> Happy Old and McCoys oh, uh -huh. fan, I really am kind of underwhelmed by the release. Basically, yeah. the only special feature is a music video for I Know These Hills, <laughs> Hills featuring Ooh, music video. Kevin Costner and Modern West. So... <sighs> Yeah, that's kind of sad. I, I don't know how they couldn't do some sort of like commentary track yeah. or some like real history yeah. versus fiction yeah, you just or like something. Copy it's... paste stuff from Wikipedia and have someone read it. Well, not even just that. Than... Don't you think History Channel has done some sort of piece about yeah, the yeah, Hatfield and McCoys? Just throw that. The... Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but you know that's kind of kind of an underwhelming mm -hmm. um, DVD release for a it's all the good work you did with yeah. History Channel. You dropped the ball. I, I mean, I just I wish I wish I mean. People are already sort of becoming a little bit less and less in terms of purchasing DVDs and stuff yeah. as things become more digital. Yeah. Why not give them more reason to buy yeah, come on, the people. physical release? Don't make yourself go obsolete faster. Yeah. Please. Uh, or do. Appropriately, in honor of the release of the upcoming Total Recall, Ooh. which I believe is this Friday, the yes, 3rd. Yes, it is. We have the mind-bending edition <laughs> of Total Recall <laughs> being released <laughs> on Blu-ray. Yeah. Uh, any other excuse to re-release that movie, right? Didn't they have that weird tin that came uh, out just done, a few years ago? Yeah, it's ago. one of those things that they've done all sorts of releases yeah. for. And, you know, I'm a fan of the original Total Recall. I'll admit it. You know, it's I, sort of classic Schwarzenegger. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit cheesy, but a little bit a lot of fun action-wise. Mm -hmm. um, keep most of my opinions into all our segment later this week. Yes, we'll be talking Philip K. Dick. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this release for being called the mind-bending edition yeah. really doesn't add a heck of a lot it really to doesn't the, bend your mind much i mean it's got uh audio commentary from schwarzenegger and verhoven but that's existed <laughs> before so that's yeah. nothing new it's and audio got, commentary schwarzenegger man <laughs> what a challenge yeah. i really I, love this scene I, I kind of actually enjoy that a lot <laughs> it's got you know feature out about the special effects of total recall which is kind of cool but again mm -hmm. nothing new yeah but in terms of new stuff it's basically just an interview with paul verhoven um which is exclusive to this release mm -hmm. and a restoration comparison looking at the digital HD transfer compared to the original film negative which is kind of interesting but, but it's you like know. you could do that with a picture <laughs> you don't. don't really need a whole featurette totally. and it's sort of like 
to be re-releasing this on Blu-ray in advance yeah. of the film coming out. This is kind of mm-hmm. a blasé. Yeah, I edition. mean, even the fact that it, they gave it a name rather than any kind of yeared release is clearly just trying to grab that market, get some so, more merch dollars for double the name. dip. Yeah, and it's sort of like some guy will be drunk on Amazon and be like, "Total Recall is already out on DVD." Yeah, or buy it, buy it, or Blu-ray and buy it again, thinking he's seen the Colin Farrell. And people. you know. I uh, don't necessarily have a problem if you don't own it already and you yeah. really like Total Recall. That's true. Perhaps yes. it would be fine then. Yeah. But, you know, if you already own it, I definitely would yeah. not bend over backwards yeah. to get this new release. Don't even bend over forwards. Don't That's even true. bend over. Just yeah. no, bending, no bending at all. Next up, we're going to be talking about one of those hit uh, British series, which is kind of finally venturing over mm, to Americans mm-hmm, in capacity, mm-hmm. and that's Misfits, gotcha. which is about a group of kids doing community service about that a group gets. Of misfits, maybe? Yeah, hey. you might say. <laughs> they get struck by lightning during oh. a storm and develop superpowers. Oh! Um, Not where I was thinking it was going to go, but no. I'll take it. And then they're probably misfits too. I mean, they <laughs> well, are doing yeah. community service. But I wasn't necessarily thinking superpowers. Yeah. So. Sort of like, I guess you compare to perhaps Chronicle or maybe Akira or something mm. like that, except it's a TV hmm. version of that. I guess hmm. Akira was a TV show, right? It was a movie. Did it's they, a comic did, book. Okay, comic book. There was a comic yeah. book. There's some serialized yes. version of it, though. That's, true. That's what I was thinking. Yes. And, you know, this is the first time the DVDs mm. are coming to America. Um, is it the original, I assume, British? Yes, show? this okay. is the British version, and it's the first time it's coming on DVD. Mm-hmm. Though it has been on Hulu uh, starting, I believe, in 2011, and okay. it's since made its way to like Amazon, mm-hmm. uh, Prime, and On Demand, gotcha. and all that stuff. But this is the first time it's the been DVDs, on DVDs, exactly, That's physical cool. version, and that means you know featurettes and mm-hmm. stuff, which is something that you don't get so much on mm-hmm. things like Hulu. Definitely. And you get you know making of misfits, cast and crew interviews, a collector's uh, T-shirt with the DVD, <laughs> and so you know, <laughs> give them a T-shirt. Yeah, it's it's one of those things that I believe has a pretty nice cult following hmm. in the UK. I mean, they've done four seasons of it thus wow. far. I think they're working on five uh, coming up here soon. So if if you like that kind of stuff, and I think it's kind of a cool idea. I haven't checked it out, and I, I have friends who enjoy the series, so I probably will be checking it out now that it's going to be making more of a yeah. presence in America. Yeah, probably. And hopefully... We won't have a probably already some American knockoff of it <laughs> yeah. in the works yeah. if it isn't already yeah, out that's there. Probably it's probably on MTV and we're completely ignorant. Or of it. it's on like ABC and we're all like, oh yeah, that's right. No one watches that channel anymore. Yeah, yeah. So moving on, uh, the last one we're going to be talking about is the Criterion mm. wah, 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 edition of Le Havre, which is uh, about an African boy that arrives by cargo ship to the city of Le Havre and an aging shoe shiner that takes pity on the child and welcomes him into his home. Hmm. And this film was reviewed on the MacGuffin website this year. We gave it an A minus. So if a you have any minus. if you have any <laughs> questions about the quality of the film, A, that tells you that's a good mm-hmm. film. B, it's Criterion, and mm-hmm. Criterion doesn't just take up any film into its no. uh, archives. You don't, well. Yeah, there's Armageddon, but... I would argue there's a reason for it being there still. I know you would, (laughs) and you would be wrong. (laughs) Anyway, in terms of this release, you know, you have a a new HD transfer, Mm -hmm. you have interview with actor Andre Wims, Mm. uh, Cannes Film Festival press conferences featuring Mm. the cast and crew, French television interviews with the cast and crew, concert footage of Little Bob, the rock group featured in the film, Hmm. uh, new English subtitle translation, which I'm curious about. Probably more accurate. Probably. And gotta love subtitles over mm-hmm. dubbing. So oh, definitely. Always, always, always better. And a booklet featuring an essay by film critic Michael Sinsky. Hmm. Sinsinski, I think. Does that look yeah, good? Yeah, I'd go Sinsinski. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. Sounds about right. Anyway, looks looks like a great release yeah. for a film that seems to be pretty good. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Criterion, we call yeah. that a win win mm-hmm. in my book. <laughs> so, if you're going to buy one of these four, that's mm-hmm. probably the one to buy. Yeah, probably. 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 So, with that being said, let us know what you want in terms of your DVD picks for July 31st. Alan's probably already got it pre ordered because it's Criterion. Probably. Mm-hmm. And stay tuned for our <laughs> next discussion about Philip K. Dick mm-hmm. in honor of the release of the Total Recall reboot remake whatever you want mm-hmm. to call it yes and uh whatever feedback <laughs> mcguffinpodcast.com twitter.com slash mcguffincast facebook.com slash mcguffinpodcast phone number 323-761-9842 itunes miro roku blip 
check in. Get glue. We'll see you next time. Magneto can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. This type don't even try to buy the same style. Mr. Spock can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.